Okay, we have a little left to do to turn Tom over and see if he turns back 180 degrees in the air. Now then, Tom's leap of faith. The altitude is about two meters or so. We will set him off in this reversed position. Be patient for the sake of science. That's it. On three. One, two, three. As expected on all fours. In slow motion, we can see it all in detail. A perfect landing on all four paws. But it's still completely unclear how he does it. Perhaps it's thanks to the tail. If you focus on it, the tail turns in the opposite direction to the rotation of his body. Cats with long tails, like leopards and snow leopards, can flip themselves over and change their direction twice in the air with the help of their tails, of course. I've seen it firsthand. It's incredibly impressive. Hmm. Let's then carry out an experiment with a cat without a tail. So, where's our shears? Get ready with narcosis? Heads up? No, we wouldn't. Get acquainted. This is Emma, a Karelian bobtail. This breed has a short tail. Okay, will she be able to land on all four paws? Yes, she will. So the tail has nothing to do with it. And by the way, the cat's turn during the fall is a violation of two of Newton's laws simultaneously. The first and the third. Let's start with the third law. An action equal to reaction. A cat can't just start spinning in the air because if its upper body makes a move in one direction, the lower part will make the same turn to the other, according to Newton's third law. But then the first law, the energy conservation law, is also broken. Before landing, the cat somehow slows the spinning motion and just drops during the last part of its fall, having clearly aligned its paws downwards. So how is this possible? Maybe scientists can explain it. I can't explain how cats flip in the air, but all, almost all animals who live under a forest canopy and whose life entails jumping and requiring steering in the air possess this ability. For instance, the flying squirrel, lemurs, and the civets who use branches a lot use them as springs, primates also. Well, let's figure it out for ourselves. First, how does a cat understand which way it should turn? In charge of this is some well-developed apparatus. Indeed, all felines jump very well. Nature has given them an inner ear receptor, which always tells them their position relative to the ground. Secondly, if you look at how a tailless cat and an ordinary one turn over, it is clear that the first makes its every movement more vigorously and barely manages to turn over before landing. It means one movement in particular is important, but which one? Tom, tell us, how do you do it, huh? We won't tell anyone. Give me a hand. Come on. What any cat does when falling is known in science as rotation relative to the center of mass. Or more precisely, a change in the moment of inertia of one part of the body relative to another. With the paws drawn in, the moment of inertia decreases, the angle of velocity increases, and the upper part of the body turns faster than the lower one. And vice versa. When Tom retracted his hind feet and straightened the front feet, the back of his body turned faster. The whole secret is in the position of the feet. By pulling and drawing them, cats change the moment of inertia of the upper and lower parts of the body. 
and before landing, they simply slow this rotation by straightening all their feet. Like this. It's simple, and no laws are broken. 